Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle, and this is your first of four Fan Requested Friday matchups. Dorian Yates 1994 versus Dorian Yates 1997. Melted Bicep versus Melted Bicep. With all due respect to Dorian Yates, I mean, the guy is a, you know, he's a legend in bodybuilding. And we often say he is or had the greatest physique of all time and he you know he gets all that adulation so I guess on the other side of the token he gets criticized for his not so perfect versions like here in 94 and in 1997 so I have to be respectful but on the other side of the token like I said I have to call it like it is and 1997 is a sheer you know I believe Louis Marco called him a hot mess and kind of resembles that. It's a perfect description of 1997. Now, 1994, you know, little bit of bloat, I think, stomach distension. And of course, his bicep, it's torn. You can see that. But in 1997, guys, that arm, that should not be displayed. And there's arguments back and forth. And I personally have gone back and forth with the decision in 1997 should he have not even placed should he should he have not even have gone out there because the rest of the physique he was defeating a lot of guys but when do you draw the line this is not you know guy walks out there with lags like Dwayne Walker and they say they're a little too small so they place him ninth here's a man with no arms with no arms and he's winning the contest but anyway, guys, that's not what this is about. Go to the front lat spread. And this time, it looks like there's more stomach distension for 1997. And that is a little bit confusing. J judging by the front double buy, it looked like 94 had a little bit more of a, a bloat going on. But in a, a, most, I have to say most of the other shots, it looks like 94 is the leaner version as far as the midsection is concerned. Looks like he's definitely got some dream tan on there in 1994. You guys agree, disagree with that? Take the arms out of the equation, which you pretty much do in a pose like this. And 1997 looks good. Look at his lats. They're huge. And the wheels, pretty darn good as well. So I got no problem with his, his lats. And as we'll see, the backs, very good as well. Almost have to give this one to 1997. But clearly, clearly, after that display in the front double b no way no way go to the side tricep taken at a little bit of a different angle here you can see 94 you can see the far pack a little bit more so you know it, i think that would create a little bit more of a, a leaner midsection but still i think he does have more stomach distension in 1997 Looks like he has a, an outsy belly button as well. Could he have, you know, got one of them herniated belly button things that a lot of the 2000s guys had? Not not too many of them, not as many have it nowadays. You definitely want to see the health of the bodybuilders get better instead of worse. And I'm sure everybody can agree on that one. It's all about being healthy, guys. That's why Joe Weider started it. Be healthy. Go to the rear double or the rear lat spread, the first of the two back shots. And look at 1997, guys. He is better. He His back is much better. His trap's twice as big from what you can see from the arms, obviously. 97, his arms are melted off. I believe Louis Marco also said that. A hot mess. He is melting, melting. Anyway, with all due respect, guys. With all due respect. These guys are Greek gods. We talk about them in the breath of greatest bodies of all time. So if they get that adulation, they got to kind of get the the bad parts about it too. Like they're, they're bad versions. But these backs, they're not bad. In fact, 1997, the muscle separation, the lats, clearly thicker, just better altogether. Go to the rear double by, and I might reverse my decision on that. You can see the uh, Christmas tree area, striations in the glutes. I don't know if the hamstrings are any better. But you throw the arms into the equation as well. Now the traps, they are bigger. Look up, up at the top of the traps for 97. Just thick and full. 
In 94, no, not as thick, but they look more straighted in 94. Almost looks, you know, better. So I, I, I think that he was maybe losing in the rear lat in 94, but might be getting some back with the rear double by. Now, this is a closer shot. And notice his, in 1997, notice his lat insertion. His left lat insertion seems to be swollen. You see that? Much more swollen. It was always a little bit lower. But in 97, it looks swollen. Something going on there. And like I said, you throw the arms into the equation in this one. Yes, his bicep is torn in 94. But look at the triceps. The, the, the poor elbows of Dorian. Oh, calcium buildup, I do believe. Something of that nature. But it is sightly. You can see it. And you have to call it like it is. Go to the abs and thigh pose. Look at facially, guys. Look at facially. 94, he was, you know, I'm a bloke. Come on, ladies. And then in 1997, he's full-blown, you know, middle-aged Londoner hailing from Sussex Schweppes Golden. Yorkshire pudding. Would you like a little brindle and some supper cook? Anyway, guys, midsection, twice as big. So, yeah. Yeah, he was 260 pounds or whatever he was in 97. Biggest he ever was, I think, as far as the scale is concerned. But it wasn't from the arms, wasn't from the legs, maybe a little bit in the back, but mostly in the waistline. You can see that, guys. Sure, he's in just as good as condition, bigger, but that does not always equal to, uh, you know, to a winning version. 1994, all the way. And like I said, facially too, guys. <laughs> He's handsome. 94. Go Finish this one off. Most muscular. Not a very good shot here. So, tilted angle. Things of that nature. And I would have liked to have a good, another good display and compare the biceps. Guy wanted to see a melted bicep versus melted bicep. But anyway, guys. 1994 is your winner, in my opinion. He still looked healthy. He was, he just didn't look, you know, like he was falling apart. But with all due respect to 1997, some of those back shots, maybe Dorian's best. 95 probably, but hey, 1997, them back shots, the traps were huge, huge, dwarfing that of 1994. But 94, like I said, better altogether. Midsection, more complete, arms, things of that nature. Didn't look like a hot mess. With all due respect to the Dorian the Yates. Hit thumbs up on the video, guys. Expect three more fan-requested Friday matchups. And how do you get your fan-requested Friday matchup played? I see there is some confusion. You have to be first. It has to be the first comment of a request. And you pick Tuesdays. I, ha I pick the ones with the most thumbs up. So you can't get that confused. So don't try to be too fast on Tuesday. Be fast on Friday. Have a great day, guys.